Okay, this one's gonna have spoilers. How ridiculously gratuitous was that violence and gore? I mean, I don't mind the stuff. I, you know, I've been desensitized, but just guts and half, you know, the torn off arms and limbs and people lying half, it just, I'm sorry, at no point did the violence in this have any effect on me, positive or negative, I was never like, I want to say scared, but I think they were going for grossed out, because they can't possibly think that people will be scared just by vast amounts of, you know, internal organs and decapitated heads and cut off limbs. That in itself is not scary. The, the attacks seem so random. Maybe that's an odd complaint. Maybe that's expected. Maybe it's even preferred from werewolf flicks. But what was the point when when like when he's running through the 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 city, and um, you know that scene that the trailer made to look. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't like hyped up by the trailer. I didn't go to see it hoping it'd be fantastic and thinking you know wow that trailer. And then, like, disappointed that it wasn't. That's not it. But anyway, the the trailer made it look like the city scene was going to be really, you know, made you think, oh, you know, he's going to be running around the city. Who can stop him? And, but, but yeah, he's running through the street, and he, I remember, he, he attacks a, you know, horse-drawn carriage and just attacks a couple of people, in it, and then he keeps running. Why? He's being chased. Is he not... I mean, I get the animalistic thing, but has he got no sense of self-preservation? Also, I wasn't entirely sure. Can bullets hurt him? They kept intentionally making, making him not be hit by bullets. Isn't it only silver that can... Or can he be hurt, like, just not quite completely killed? I don't know. Also, this one may not bother everyone, and I have no problem with, you know, mindless entertainment, guilty pleasures, you know, films or, you know, other mediums that are mainly there to entertain, and, you know, you turn your brain off for the duration, and that's it. It's not the fact that the film isn't exactly deep or anything like that. It's the fact that it does state this. I mean, first of all, if you're gonna have some kind of theme running through the film, don't state it. Don't have characters. I mean, it was said like three or four freaking times in the film. Okay, we get it. Quit jamming it down our throats. We get it. Beast, man, where does the line go? Okay, yes. Roger that. Okay, now shut up about it. It's not the fact that it doesn't, it's not the fact that it isn't, like, intellectual and a psychological study. I would have liked that, but it's not that. It's the fact that it states this in, a, in an obvious attempt to try to, you know, rise above being just a creature feature, and then it doesn't do anything with it. There is zero payoff to, I mean, you know, when you watch, like, The Incredible Hulk, and I'm not claiming that that's, like, you know, a brilliant film or something, but in that you can kind of sense there is some humanity in there, you know, inside there, there, you know, Bruce really does appear to be in there somewhere. The Wolfman, there's just nothing. Why did they bother to have their faces so still obviously... I mean, it can't have been to make it easy to tell the wolves apart, because it was... You know, there was never any problem telling them apart. You know, you've got the white-haired one, and you've got the dark-haired one. 
it's not exactly rocket science. Why did they have the faces and the eyes and all that other than to imitate the original one? I personally think that was a bad move, but, you know, I don't know, maybe people still like that look, I don't know. Why, if you're not gonna use it, if you're not gonna have any kind of humanity in there, and I mean, when it ended, I thought that it was going to be that somehow her love was going to save something. What was the whole love thing? What did that have to do with anything? She shot him with a silver bullet. Couldn't it have been anyone shooting him with a silver bullet and it would still have gone the same way? What was the point? And if you're going to go with, you know like beastly and animalistic versus you know man and human nature just use it do something with it the problem with all these with all this fiction where you know people revert to an animal like s stage and you know and they just kill at random or they kill like psychopaths it doesn't make sense animals kill when they feel threatened when they, I mean don't get me wrong, I'm not some, you know, pro-all-things-animal PETA spokesperson. I just think that we should look realistically at it. Animals kill for food, and they kill to defend their territory, or they kill, they kill if they're frightened. And mostly the killing for their to protect their territory they're typically not going to kill something that isn't food unless they, like, feel, you know, terrified. They're going to try to scare it off their territory first. It doesn't work. You can't just say, oh, it's like an animal, and then have it just randomly attack everything that moves. That doesn't make sense. It's not logical. It wouldn't make sense for them to do that. And animals do actually do what makes sense. It might not make a ton of sense to us, but when we look at the their environment they and the way they have to be, the way they have been um, before, it does make sense. I mean, I personally think it's a very potentially interesting concept, you know. I mean, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde without the the whole science aspect reaching for something that we maybe shouldn't be toying with and you know but that there is something within us that we can't control and it's you know dangerous also how did the brother character survive in the beginning it was like the wolfman was right in front of him and then you know like two attacks and then he's running away from it what? You can't run away from a wolf. You can't run away f or a wolf man thing, whatever. It just... Why did Talbot need to be an actor? Okay, maybe that's from the original. I don't know. Why did Weaving immediately suspect him? I mean, okay, you're an actor. That must mean you're a psychopath. What? How could he even have attacked anyone at the time? And he himself had clearly been attacked, so... Also, Weaving could be written out without, with almost no impact to the story. And on the subject of Weaving, why did they wait, like, at least ten minutes or so on the, you know, on the payoff to him, you know, surviving the attack? I mean, the moment that he survived being attacked by one of the wolfmen, of course he was going to turn. And why, why didn't they somehow go, you know, finish on that. I mean, they had just seen that clearly it can be killed by, you know, silver bullets. Why doesn't she just, you know, raise the gun, shoot him? Yeah, I think that's about all I had to say. Do I smell something burning? Ah, must be the flames on their way. Well, I live in a cold climate. Maybe I can save on my heating bill this way. See you next time.